Welcome back. This is Arcade Knight, and today we play a yet-to-be-released version of this mod with a huge addition, if you know what I mean. Plus, guys, we're gonna complete our conquest of the Northern Front. So sit back on your comfy chairs, grab a golden canteen of your favorite tasty beverage as we get ready to play the Parabellum. got big plans for this episode. I'm talking huge plans for this episode. Uh, but first of all, I want to check out some of these scenes I haven't seen before. We're in Vega territory. And uh, this is a village. It, it looks pretty cool. I really love the train tracks that are running right through the village. Pretty cool. If we can put a train on here, that'd be even better occasionally. Okay, so here are these big plans. First of all, we're going to head to Ravenden. Because we're going to buy something. We're going to buy something spectacular. And it's going to help us siege this last fortification um, on the northern front. And we're going to get ourselves prepared. Because in the next episode, we're going to go for it. We're going to take Darim. I can't wait. I'm really excited too. Because um, it's very nostalgic to me. In my first ever playthrough in Mountain Blade Warband, when I, when I really started a kingdom, my first capital was in Durham. But I want to hear what you guys have to say. Your first kingdom in Mountain Blade Warband, what was the capital? Was it Halmar? Was it Durham? Was it maybe Praven? Perhaps it was some territory down south, or perhaps you were a bit of a Nord, and maybe you had Sargoth or something. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. What was your first capital uh, in your first kingdom? when you played native Mountain Blade Warband. But anyway, we're, we're going to shoot for Durim in the next episode, but we're going to get ourselves prepared. And the first thing we're going to do is, um, let's check out our party. So we've got a good bit of men. I've been picking up some volunteers here from the locals. Um, we're going to, ooh, white army infantry. Yeah, let's use these guys. Very good. Um, and what I've done as well is I've separated um, first company and second company. So I think what I'm going to have is all of my foreign troops in second company, yes. And then I'm going to have all of my homegrown troops in first company. I'm also going to have all the tank hunters in second company too. There's going to be a reason why you'll see later. So yeah, I've got all these men in first company. Perfect. And then, leading first company, I'm going to have Lieutenant Ira Wellborn. And then leading second company, I'm going to have Sergeant Frank Buckles. And this was a suggestion from one of you viewers, so thank you very much. And then I'm going to have uh, Dr. Eric. He's going to be part of first company. First company is going to be the, the second wave going in. Uh, second company is going to be that first wave going in, taking care of those tanks on the opposing sides because they're going to have tank hunters. And of course, we've still got our bombers and fighters and planes. And we've got our eight tanks. So... We've got to add something to the group, and you know, before we do that, we probably need to drop off. Hmm, we need to get rid of one volunteer, because we're going to add something amazing. Something that you guys don't have access to. Thank you, mod developer, for giving me special access to this early. But we're going to go into the uh, weapons factory, and we're going to buy something. We're going to buy this L-30 airship. Oh yeah, guys, we're buying a Zeppelin for 10000 I think while we're here, too... We're going to go ahead and buy one of these light tanks as well to bring us back up. I think we're in good shape. So, here we go. Where, where are you? There it is. Well, you can't see it now, but you saw it at the beginning of the episode. And if you missed it, I don't know what you guys were doing. I don't know what you were watching. But let's bring that up uh, next to our other air support. Yeah. Leading the air support, leading the bombers. And we're going to see that thing in action today. So, here's what we're going to do. We're heading down to this fort fortification. Yes, yes, yes. And we're going to see if we can take it today real quick and get ourselves ready for uh, the rim in the next episode. Okay, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Yes, we are protected, in fact. Aha. Uh -huh. Some fellow allies. 155. Let's see what they have. Lots of infantry, which is good. A bomber, a fighter bunch of tank hunters though that could be difficult they don't have a lot of tanks but they have a lot of tank hunters but I, so I think what I may do hmm, is I'm gonna send in my uh, Zeppelin first I'm gonna send in my bombers and planes 
try to weaken the area, then we're gonna go in probably with our men. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna go in with second company first. And then, uh, we're gonna bring in our tanks, followed by first company. I think that's the best thing to do. Alright, let's see. Let's make sure we don't take a long time. Ah, yes. Let's prepare the assault. Dig the trenches! Oh, goodness. I, I can't wait, guys. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fight this battle right here, right now. Let's see if we can use these tactics. Okay, so what did I say first? Let's send in the bombers. I didn't see that they had many bombers on their side, so we should be okay. Alright. Everybody hold back here. Let's send that air support in right away. Alright, I've got air support going in right away. Yes, yes. And here comes our Zeppelin. There is that mighty beast. Ah. Wonderful. Okay. So now, what we need to do is we need to get uh, second company. Follow me. Second company. Let's get our men back. Let's see if I can get the um, mortars going here. Artillery shells coming in. Or howitzers, I should say. Someone corrected me. Mortars and howitzers are not the same thing. And I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree. So we're going to try to call them howitzers, not mortars. All right. So we've got our tank hunters. We got our second company back here. Hold them back. Hold them back behind this hill. Let's try to um, get through the line a little bit more with our air support. Our bombers haven't even gotten there. I should say uh, our Zeppelin hasn't even gotten there. Oh, I just took a hit. I just took a hit. It's much easier getting rid of the tanks, but I was worried they had so many tank hunters. And I don't even know where those tank hunters are. They could be, could be near the back. Bring those tanks up a little bit. Let's bring the tanks through. Come on, tanks. Oh, we're losing a lot of planes here, too. My goodness, planes falling left and right. Hmm. Oh, and I see... Am I seeing one of their tanks coming after us? All right, we definitely have to bring up the tanks. Let's bring the second company up to the top of this hill, too. See what they can do. Artillery shells coming in right on that tank's position. I don't think is that one of our tanks. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh my goodness! I think it is one of their tanks firing at us. Come around this side. We got our tanks going in. Let's bring up our second company over here. Stop the enemy up a little bit. I don't know if that tank is working anymore. I don't see it firing at us very much. Alright, so I'm worried. I'm worried. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. That scared the crap out of me. Let's, let's hope once we get those Zeppelins over there, or that one Zeppelin, it can really start bombing. Alright, here we go. Here we go. It's that real trench charge that some people have been asking for. Ah, sometimes it's a bit suicidal, frankly. But I, I, want, I want to give the people what they want. Frankly, I want to give you guys what, what, what they want. And I want to do it too. I want to have that epic whistle blowing charge towards the trenches. Oh, I got one. Yes. All right, I have second company charging in. I right, see if we can use. Oh, I did not bring my grenades in. Oh no! Reynolds, you're a fool! You're a fool, sir! Oh, I'm in a bad spot here. We've lost 19. I think we lost the most of second company. Thanks for going ahead. We're going to have to bring up first company to this position. What are friendly troops doing in the, in, the, in the hole, in the trench? All right, come on, man. All 
All right, I think we got him. Very good, very good. Second company, hold here. Second company, hold here. Hold here, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let the bombers and the tanks go ahead. Get these men holding here. Get these men holding in the trenches. All right, first company's coming. We got second company here. I'm right, gonna wait till we get all of our men. All of our men positioned, and then we're gonna have an epic charge. Oof. Uh, one of the reasons why we don't wanna we don't wanna stay still is I think they're bombing us. I think there's some howitzers coming our way. Alright, here's what we're gonna have to do. We have to see second company. Second company, go! Go, second company! Charge, second company, charge! Alright, you made it, you made it slow. Come on, come on, do I have to lead you myself? Come on, man! Let's go, second company! Charge, second company! Oh, they're slow moving. We're gonna bring first company up to that trench line. Second company, let's go! Come on, men! What do you wanna do, live forever? I wanna see my tank hunters up there. I wanna see our foreign allies up there. Come on, men! We're gonna make it. We're, we're, we're gonna make it. We're gonna beat our Zeppelin, my guy. We have to. All right, let's see if I get... All right, first company. I see first company there. All right, we got a trench line up ahead. Oh, can't see. All right, let's see if uh, second company can take this trench. I wonder if Frank Buckles is still leading second company. Is, has, he been, has he been wounded? Um, I'm not quite sure because I haven't. Oh my goodness, how many tanks have I lost? This seems like a punishing siege. Punishing battle indeed. Alright, I think we got it. I think we got this trench. Excellent. Alright, I'm gonna bring up first company! Alright, let's bring second company up here. Company, hold this trench, hold this trench, first company. Come on, then, bring up those men. Come on, come on, come on, men. Get down here, get down here. Come on, come on, men. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Get in the trench, get in the trench, get in the trench. There we go, there we go, there we go. We got our men coming. We got our men coming. All right. Zeppelin, I don't know what you're doing. I think he's out of action. We still have tanks moving forward. There's five of them left. Okay, I'm gonna send the all-out charge. This is it. I think our tanks have done most of the dirty work. I don't know how many tanks we've lost. But I'll tell you what, I would not take on one of these battles without without a nice group of tanks. It's, it's really hard. I mean, you could throw a bunch of men at it. You really could. You could be recruiting all your men afterwards, but throwing tanks at it makes it much better. While we have this little discussion, I'm about to sip of my tasty beverage from my golden canteen. Mm. Handcrafted back in the good old USA. Well, USB, I should say. Alright. I think it's said one poor bastard left. And then we're gonna have to take them on in their, their headquarters. I'm sure that's gonna be a bloody affair. I see you moving, sir. There we go. Those tanks got it. Good job, man. Excellent work. That's what I like to see. Ooh. All right, so I think we, I think, think we got him done. Uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and take a little screenshot with, with a dead Swadian. You know, that's what we, we would like to do. Say cheese. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here, and I'm sure we've got more battling to, to go. We, we don't really know how much we've lost, but it says 32. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is always the most difficult part. Ah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Unbelievable. Yeah! Unbelievable. What are we facing now? 
That was sad. Let's see. Oh, I feel the numbers will be great. There are more men... ...in the trenches. We're looking at 46 more men. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at Oh man, hold back. Hold back. We're, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. It looks like we've got a good bit of tanks. Um, let's see. Air support charge in. I see first company is itching to get in. Oh. Yeah, I, I know. Um, second company took devastating casualties in the first one. Devastating casualties. So, uh, yeah. First company, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need you this day. Much indeed. All right, so we've got... I'm going to have first company follow me. That's going to be tough, guys. It's going to be tough. I see we've got some of second company. We're going we're gonna to give them a rest for this particular battle. All right, let's get in there as quickly as possible. 46 enemies. We've already lost nine. Hope they're not bombing us. All right, let's see if we can use the mortars. I'd say the howitzer is to great effect. Oh, and they are spread out everywhere. Look at them go. Yeah, that's really unfortunate when you when you fail in their offices or in the um, the central fortification. It kicks you back out, and you've got a hell of a battle ahead of you. We're gonna experience that today. That's fine. That's fine. Lieutenant Colonel Roger Reynolds. He's a brave bastard. Going out there with oh, just as I say that. Thanks, everyone, to the response to last episode's trivia question. And two viewers who got that answer correct was Jalil Zamel and Jack the Patriot. That question being, which country during World War I was the first to use flamethrowers? Um, and those flamethrowers, those modern-day flamethrowers, were invented by a gentleman by the name of Richard Fiedler. And, you know, contrary to popular belief, most operators of the flamethrower didn't burst into flames when a bullet ruptured their tank. Actually, most users would just be propelled forward from the expelled gas through the bullet hole. Again, thanks everyone, and uh, thanks to Lil Zamel and Jack the Patriot for those correct answers. Just as I say, he's a brave bastard. We take one to the face. Oh my goodness. I think, I think we have the doctor now. If, if I'm remembering correctly, because we, we gave the doctor the, uh, the heavy armor. All right, so... We're going to have second company follow, first company follow. We're going to need everyone. Wow, L Lieutenant Colonel hasn't um, suffered something like that in quite a while, in fact. Oh, that was a terrible. Okay, that, that's why. I threw the wrong grenades there. I think those are tank busters. Oh, this is going great. I think he's got a shotgun. Oh, that's, that's better, that's better. All right, here we go, here we go. Now we're getting through. Kind of figuring some things out. So I think he's got some... Oh, my goodness! Oh! What? Oh! What is going on? We're taking some serious, serious damage right now. All right, well, we got to get to these trenches. we got to get to these trenches quickly. Something else. Well, let's see if those tanks can, can help us out a little bit. While I take a sip of my tasty beverage from my golden canteen. I thought this was going to be a fun little uh, little battle. Come to find out, it is not deep. Right. I like it when those tanks are a little bit far ahead of us. It gives those trench lines a little bit something more to worry about. Hopefully we didn't lose too many tanks, too many planes and zeppelins. All right, first company. Follow the good doctor. Follow the good doctor into battle. We're gonna do it. Come on, men. First company, charge! Charge first company. We're gonna have second company holding back. I don't think we're gonna need the tank hunters in this one. 
Ah, uh, let's see. Can we get some artillery shells on that trench line, perhaps? We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. See, it's, it's already better when you got those tanks far ahead. Okay, here is this episode's trivia question, and it's pretty simple. What was the longest battle of World War I? If you know the answer, quickly put your answer down in the comment section, and if you're correct, I'll possibly give you a shout-out in the next episode. Good luck. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, the first company is anxious. They're getting up there much quicker than I am. I got my shotgun ready, but I, I don't think we're going to find anybody. There's two enemies left. Oh, these men are going to murder them before we even get there. Yeah, that poor spotty bastard didn't even know what hit him. <sighs> okay, all right. What is this? All right, let's see. Let's see. This is going to be. This is going to be something interesting. Oh, I think that's it. I think we finally took them out. <sighs> Very good indeed. Um, huh. no reward. No reward. I've got plans. Believe me, I've got plans. All right, guys. So, I think we've done it. Let's leave out of here. Oh, look at it. Look at it. The whole northern front is nice and taken care of. So, the next thing's to wrap. So, so let's let's look at our wounds. Let's look at our wounds. Ooh. All right, so we still have our airship. We still have bombers, fighters. So we, it appears we lost four tanks. Quite a bit of tanks. Um, first company. How you looking, first company? Not great. Nor is second company. We're gonna definitely have to refill. Yeah, both groups. As well as, hmm, money's getting low. I think we're gonna have to raid a few villages. Um, buy some more tanks, maybe buy another bomber, another camel fighter, recruit a bunch more troops. Hmm, it's gonna take everything we have to take to Rim. Hmm, okay. We're, we're gonna have to stay here. We'll wait for, uh, this fortress to be well protected. But, but guys, whew, I wanna thank you for joining me. I had a great time in this episode. That was another hard-fought trench battle. Um, but what do you think the, of the airships? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, don't forget to answer the trivia question. And then the final question. I got so many questions for you guys. What was your first capital in your first kingdom in Native Warband? I just can't wait to hear what all you guys have to say down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit this like button down there. It helps me out so much. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button so you can be updated on all the content, all the Warband content, and as many mods on this very channel. Again, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on the Parabellum.